The United States celebrates the 240th anniversary of its independence from Britain Monday with a national holiday full of picnics, parades and fireworks across the country. It is the last 4th of July at the White House for President Barack Obama and his family. The Obamas are hosting military families for a barbecue at the White House and a concert by Kendrick Lamar and Janelle Monet. But the key to the holiday is just minutes from the White House at the National Archives building that is the home of the Declaration of Independence drafted by Thomas Jefferson and adopted by Congress on July 4, 1776. The July 4th holiday includes a tradition reading of the Declaration of Independence on the steps of the archives. And joining me in the studio to discuss how Africans in the U.S. celebrate America's Independence Day is Margaret Dureke, a native of Nigeria, a motivational speaker and founder of Wetati. Margaret, many of us here, and welcome to the studio again. Thank you so much. Many of us here from the continent of Africa call America home. Yes. This is a country that uh, freedom has allowed us to come, live, work, and Definitely. enjoy everything that is enshrined in the Constitution of the United States. But how do we as Africans celebrate the 4th of July? Thank you, Esther, for having me. That's a great question. And when I got the news that I was going to be talking to you about that, I was like, hmm, did I ever think about that? But the, the thing is, in 1776, when America freed itself, the independence that America gained was actually for the world. I think if it wasn't for that, you and I wouldn't be here. And first of all, before I answer that, I can tell you that America is the most tolerant, the most compassionate, most caring country in the whole, on the face of the earth, as far as I'm concerned. And if it wasn't for that, Africans wouldn't even be here, yourself and myself included. But what it is is that when you come into a place and they tell you, I was told about the 4th of July, I mean, I read history in America, but I didn't know how impactful it is until the later on the years, I've been here for donkey years, for, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm an American. But Africans have a different notion and view about what the 4th is. For everyone is different, but most of the times we get together as family because when you go to Rome, you do it like the Romans. Americans are very patriotic and we have to borrow what is good about America, and which is believing in the country where you are, celebrate what is good. When they celebrate, when they mourn, you mourn because we're all the same. Africans, some of us will go to the park, like you talk about the fireworks. My, my 14 year old daughter said, Mom, I don't care where you go today, I gotta go because this is my country, I need to celebrate, I wanna watch the fireworks. Work. Some will do like a potluck, uh, take time from work and get together with some friends in the park or in their homes. Some will even have a party like the one the night before. But for everyone is different. But the most important thing is realizing why do we celebrate with Americans? Because we are one and we have the same situation. And, and Margaret, you mentioned that Africans celebrate in their own way, but still there's food, there's dance, there's music. Yes. How do we incorporate that into the American way of celebrating the 4th of July? Yeah. Which which includes the food as well, yes. fireworks, and of course, key to this country is yes. patriotism. Exactly, because you see, first of all, one of the things I personally charge Africans is be sure to assimilate where you are. If you don't assimilate and be one of the people, you cannot enjoy even the fruits of what is that American dream. So one of the things that we do, and one of the things, that I, because I did a little research to find out from others when I knew I was coming to the show, they said, what do you guys do on the 4th of July to, to participate? And that sense of patriotism, they said, when they come and mingle with Americans, they now learn the importance more than ever before than doing it in isolation. Most of them normally would get stuck at work. They, it didn't mean anything to them. But as we began to talk about it with one another in the community, so different communities now come together, go with the American friends who tell them where to go, what to do, what that means. That patriotism is one thing that sets America apart for most no. countries. And we're borrowing into it, and it's a good thing. Margaret, this is the last uh, 4th of July for President Barack Obama at the White House. And Africans see him as mm -hmm. their own son. Mm. What will Africans miss most about yeah. his presidency? Yeah, don't make me cry. I think <laughs> that um, uh, for everything there's a season, a time to come and a time to go. He has done the best that he could with what is given and I thank America for doing that. That's the point. Really, he is the, 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 the class um, definition of excellence. He is the hope for Africans 
to let you know it doesn't matter who you are, where your father came from, your mother came from, if you have what it takes. America is so democratic that no racism or anything can blind the people. So the hope he gives us is that if you're willing to do what you can, that America will give you your place and give you the opportunity to, to experience that, uh, what we call that American dream, that it shows that he will, with him now we can continue to keep the dream alive and make sure that being an African does not remove you from that dream that America has and the opportunity has Absolutely. given to everybody. Absolutely. Very well put, Margaret. Margaret, thank you very much for your you. insight into today's uh, discussion on how we celebrate yes. July 4th, America's Independence Day.